<laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm wearing gloves, but it's still hot as hell. Hey guys, it's Joseph from Blackbox My Car. Today we're going to be putting the Viofo A129 Pro 4K dash cam to the beat the heat test. A lot of customers have asked, do these dash cams stay on or can they stand the heat? Well, this is why we're doing this test today. For those of you living in Florida, Texas, New York, and even Washington, especially when you guys are reaching record heat as high as 100 degrees Fahrenheit, you want to make sure that the dash cam stays on when you're not there. We're going to put the VFO A129 Pro 4K dash cam to the test today to see if it can beat the heat. So we have our battle station here set up today. We're going to go through exactly how we set it up today in a bit. But what we have right here is the dash cam that we're going to be testing out today in our beat the heat test. The VOFO A129 Pro 4K dash cam is a 4K dash cam with one of the highest bit rates on the market today. On top of that, it's got an amazing 130 degree field of view, as well as other features, including 4K at 30 frames per second recording, Sony Exmor R sensor, Super Night Vision, G sensor, Wi-Fi hotspot, buffered parking mode, Bluetooth remote control, as well as a GPS logger. We drilled a hole into our table and inserted a vent tube. This vent tube is what's gonna allow the heat to travel from the heat gun into the glass tank. We'll be monitoring the temperature inside the tank using a thermometer. On top of that, we've got our VOFO A129 Pro 4K dash cam set up inside the heat tank, and it's gonna keep recording throughout the entire test so that when it gets hot inside the heat tank, we'll be able to see if it can continue recording. As well, we do want to thank a lot of you viewers for leaving your guys' comments to see how we can improve this video overall. And we do want to thank you. And we did take a lot of those lessons into this video today. First of all, something I learned is that it gets really freaking hot when we turn on the heat gun. Oh, Ow, oh. Really? <laughs> duh. So, We're gonna wear some damn gloves. Next, the egg didn't cook. We tried to cook an egg to show you guys how hot it gets inside the fish tank along with the iRoad X10, but hell, the egg didn't cook. And this time, we're not gonna use it anymore. We're just gonna show you how hot it gets with the VOFO. Last but not least, something we'll admit is that we didn't seal it completely in regards to the heat gun all the way into the tube, into the fish tank. And because of that, we lost a lot of the heat inside the fish tank really quickly. And we couldn't really get it past 45 degrees Celsius. So this time, a lesson that we learned is that we're going to seal it right. So battle station's on, let's get ready to beat the heat. So we've got our VOFO dash cam currently recording inside the heat tank itself. We've got our thermometer set up 
and we've got our heat gun down below. We don't have the heat gun on just yet because we want to find out what the resting temperature right here today is. So can you tell me what the resting temperature is? 27.9. 27.9 degrees Celsius in Richmond, our head office right now. It's a pretty hot day today, but probably not as hot as uh, the heat wave you guys are experiencing in the US. Right now, uh, let's go down below, follow me. We're gonna go down to our heat gun. Hello, got our wiring out of the way so that it doesn't burn when this thing heats up really tight. And we've got our heat gun right here. So let's turn this bad boy on. We're gonna heat it up very slowly so that it imitates what it's like inside a car. So like I said, 27.9 degrees Celsius is what it starts off as. And now it's on. We can see that the VO4 continues to record right now. It's got the recording button on. All right, so 28.3. So we can see that it's already starting to heat up in there. Good thing I got my gloves on. Okay, let's do a time, let's do a temperature check. 30.5, all right, so it's been just one minute and it's already raised by about three degrees. So, been another minute and we're already at uh, another two degrees raise. I can feel that the vent tube is getting hotter and hotter. Jesus. I think it's been about five minutes. Can I get a temperature check? 35.5, so we started off at 27.9 degrees. So right now it's already raised about eight degrees. And it looks like the VO4 is still going at it. Not bad. Nice. getting hungry. Sweet. All right guys, we're 10 minutes in, 10 minutes in. So let's find out what temperature we're at right now. 38.9. 38.9. So right now we start off at 27.9. It's now at 37, or sorry, 38. 39.3. 39.3. So we started off at 27.9 degrees Celsius. We're now at 39.8. So within the first 10 minutes of us turning on the heat gun, it's gone at about 12 degrees Celsius. Don't forget, we were on the lowest um, settings for the heat gun. So now we're gonna go back down and we're gonna turn it up just a little bit. The temperature that we're trying to hit, remember, is 65 degrees Celsius, because that falls within the operating temperature of the VFO. And we wanna make sure that this dash cam can continue to record even in that high heat.
All right. What time is it right now? All right, 20 minutes in. All right, guys. So, uh, we're 20 minutes in. Let's do a quick status check. Can you give me the temperature in here? 49.4. 49.4 degrees Celsius. So, um, for those of you experiencing, currently experiencing the heat wave in the US right now, I feel for you. At about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, that's about 34 degrees Celsius. Just keep in mind, right now in this box, we're at about 48.9, what is it right now? 49.7. 49.7 degrees Celsius. So that's even hotter than what it is right now in Washington, D.C. That's crazy. So let's bring that over. So we've got our mobile camera coming. Just to prove you get to you guys that it's still recording, we can see that on the VOFO itself, the LCD screen is off, typically it is the case, but we've got that recording button, bright red recording button still on. Let's swing over to the thermometer just to prove that it is. Here's what we can see, 51.1 degrees Celsius. It's still going strong. Couple of things to note right here is you know, our heat tape right here is slowly coming off. It is getting quite hot down here. We can see that down there. Why don't I stand right there? We can see that based on that seal right there, I think we could have sealed it a little bit, a little bit more, but we can see that the electrical tape is slowly folding in a little bit. But that said, I think the amount of tape that we got on the bottom is still doing a really good job in just sealing that heat in. So, good thing I'm wearing gloves, because this is really hot. So we've got our heat gun right here. Everything is still going as is. So far, so good. All right, so now we're actually gonna turn it up even more, because we need to hit that 65 degrees Celsius mark. So we're just gonna turn the dial a little bit. Please don't catch on fire. Don't do this at home. All right, cool. So let's do another one last temperature check. 51.5 degrees Celsius. So let's see that number keep going up. We wanna hit that 65 degrees Celsius. You gotta time lapse this, right? Boom. So. 30 minutes in, let's get a status as to what temperature it's in here right now. So can I get a temperature check? 55.2. 55.2, so we're 10 away, woo! Woo! All right, 55 degrees, 55.2 degrees Celsius within this, and I can tell you for a fact that the VOFO is still at it. No heat problem so far, even though we can see that everything else is slowly shrinking tape-wise, but the VOFO dash cam, not a problem. It's holding up strong. This 4K dash cam is a bad boy. I don't know about that. That's kind of weird. Got the big red button on, like we said before. Got our heat gun still on, and we've got our ceiling 
our sealant, I guess that's what you call it, uh, still holding tight, except for maybe where the vent is, uh, the tape around there is slightly curling in a little bit, but hey, the temperature inside the heat tank itself is still holding steady. So we're not too worried about that. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna crank it up even higher because we need to hit that 65 degrees Celsius benchmark. So let's come back down. We're cranking it up to the max. So a couple of things to add in there, relatively, uh, compare, comparing the VOFO uh, against some of our other 4K dash cams, including the Blackview DR900, as well as the iRoad X10, and last but not least, the Thinkware U1000. With the Thinkware U1000, the maximum operating spec, the operating temperature for it is 60 degrees Celsius. Whereas the Blackview DR900S, as well as the iRoad X10, we're at 70 degrees. So the VOFO A129 Pro actually falls right in the middle with its nice and sweet 65 degrees Celsius as a max operating temperature. So, like I said before, we're gonna crank the heat gun to get it all the way up there. Can I get a temperature check? 58, so we're seven away. We're gonna get it up to 65 degrees Celsius and we're gonna keep it there. <laughs> All right, so we have officially reached our 65 degrees Celsius threshold. Okay, so end of experiment one, we're gonna unwrap this. Oof. It is electrical tape actually melted. All right, so let's open it up. Whew. Unit is definitely very warm. Let's have it face me. Hello. Ah. <laughs> I'm wearing gloves, but it is still hot as hell. Oh, Jesus. Yep, definitely still going. Cool. So let's take it outside.
So, are you guys summer ready? Make sure you guys get summer ready with a dash cam in your car because you never know what's gonna happen when you're not there. Or, if you have any summer road trips planned, you wanna make sure you have a dash cam to capture all the beautiful views as you're traveling across the country. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll be sure to answer them because we read everything. If you're interested in buying a dash cam, Please come to our website and use code BBMC2 for 5% off your next dash cam today.